Good day SketchUp for Schools friends. Let's create the SketchUp logo. With any project, let's start by naming it and let's type in SketchUp logo. With that typed in, click OK. It'll ask where to put it and I always choose my SketchUp folders and click select. You'll notice that the name then appears up in the little window. When we launch a project, we are greeted by Mike. Mike is drawn to scale, which means that he is 5 foot 10 in real life and he's also 5 foot 10 on our screen. This gives us a sense of how large the objects are as we create them. I am going to delete him from my model right now, but it's good for you to know that he is there as we venture into our 3D modeling world. Start by clicking the select tool, clicking on Mike, and pressing the delete key to remove him from the screen. Click on the rectangle tool, release the mouse button, and click the rectangle again. SketchUp is a click and release program, so we always click and release to build things. Move to the origin. You can see it shows you the origin when you get there. And like I said a moment ago, click and release. Stretch it out a little bit, and then on your keyboard, type 3 feet, comma, 3 feet, and press enter. Note the dimensions appear in the bottom of the window, like I've highlighted. When you press enter, it snaps to exactly 3 feet by 3 feet. Once again, the red save icon lights up. Let's save, just because it's a good practice. The next tool we're going to use is the push-pull tool. Click and release, click and select push-pull, find the face of our square, and push-pull it up, typing 3 feet and pressing enter to lock it into the exact 3 foot by 3 foot cube measurements that we covet. Let's keep up our good habits and click save before moving on. And let's find the orbit tool so we can click and choose the orbit tool and we can orbit around so that we can see our shapes, sides, and the top. Return to the awesome rectangle tool, choose the rectangle tool, move to that first corner and we want to create a two foot comma two foot square on top of our shape. Click that corner again and we want to create a one foot by one foot shape in the same direction. Pressing enter to lock it into place. You may notice this is the start of our SketchUp logo. This time we're going to move over to the push pull tool. We're going to click on push pull Click on the smallest square and pull it downward, leaving it adjustable and typing two feet and pressing enter to snap it to the exact right height. Let's save what we've got so far, but remain in the push pull tool as we grab this hexagon and we pull it down one foot and press enter. At this point, your logo has been created. Hit save and let's move on to coloring the logo. Switch to the select tool, grab the entire logo, hold the shift key down on your keyboard, and deselect the top face, the middle face, and the tiny square face. With those deselected, switch to the paint bucket, click the paint bucket, let's go all the way to the materials browser, scroll down to colors, and let's find the red swatch that matches the SketchUp logo. Click on it, move out onto your shape, and click any of the dotted faces to paint your SketchUp logo. Let's close our palette and switch to the Orbit tool and take a good look at how awesome our SketchUp logo has turned out. Click Save and pat yourself on the back for creating such an awesome project. Thank you for following our tutorial and we hope to see you again in future SketchUp tutorials.